So for example, just recently, I had a gentleman who I've cared for for 35 years, who's had type 2 diabetes this entire time, but has had really good control of his diabetes. And he unfortunately had to have an above knee amputation. So being able to change someone's diet and completely turn their life around, can completely tell, turn their physical well-being around in three months is just unbelievable. And once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. So 18 months ago, I decided that I didn't want to do general practice anymore. And I left general practice to devote the remainder of my working career to assisting people using low carbohydrate and ketogenic nutrition to treat various diseases, including type 2 diabetes. And together with dietitian Nicole Moore and health coach Jodie Bund, we form a partnership with patients who come to see us and we assist them to achieve their goals, which are often related to improving metabolic health and reversing type 2 diabetes. In the broader context, the longest trial of therapeutic carbohydrate restriction in primary care to treat type 2 diabetes has been undertaken by Dr. David Unwin and his team at the Norwood Surgery in the United Kingdom. Over the last 10 years, the team has have been offering every patient with type 2 diabetes the opportunity of trialing a low carbohydrate diet. He has published his eight year data, and this is given in the reference at the bottom of the slide. However, he's very kindly agreed to share with me his 10 year data. So over 10 years, this approach has been offered to 569 patients with type 2 diabetes. And of those, 47% or 258 have chosen to trial a low carbohydrate diet. And of them, 50% or 130 patients have achieved type 2 diabetes remission. And a remaining 47% have achieved improved control of their type 2 diabetes. So in conclusion, if I had a patient sitting in front of me who had terminal cancer and I was counseling them about treatment options and I had a treatment up my sleeve which simply required dietary change uh, and with it that I could achieve a 10 year remission rate of 50% and a 47% chance of improved control of the cancer but I didn't offer it to them because I thought it was too hard or I thought that it mightn't work, or I thought that it might stigmatize them. How would that patient perceive me when they found out? In fact, how would they, their family and the rest of the community and my peers perceive me? And so it should be with type 2 diabetes. It is our professional and ethical responsibility to off, offer every person suffering with type 2 diabetes the opportunity of improving their diabetic control and in fact the opportunity of putting their diabetes in remission by offering them a therapeutic carbohydrate reduction or a low carbohydrate diet.